In this video, I'll be using Rupolsi to disable collections in Microsoft Edge. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about installing policy templates to manage Microsoft Edge settings via Group Policy. And now I'll begin this video by going to VMware Workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I'll be creating my Group Policy, so I'll go to Tools Group Policy Management, then I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Edge Settings, then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects, I will select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it and select Edit. And because I will be creating this policy for my computers, I will go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, and I will select Microsoft Edge. And then I will select any setting, and here I will just type Enable the Collections. And we have this policy setting right here called Enable the Collections feature. I will click on it, then I will disable this setting, I will click Apply and OK. And that's basically it. Now I will close the policy editor and go to Details. And for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave other settings on default. Now after creating the policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to deploy the settings. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. It's called computers and it is holding all the computers in my domain. So I'll click and hold on the policy that I created and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. Then I will click OK here and as you can see the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy I will go to one of my client machines that I have here and I will open Microsoft Edge. And as you can see I still have this collections button and that's because even though I created the group policy I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machine. So I'll do it manually and for that I will go to my start menu. I will search for CMD and I will open it. And here I will type GP update and I will press enter and wait a bit. And the policy update was successful. If I go back to Microsoft Edge, you can still see that I have this button right here. And that's because for the settings to apply, I need to relaunch Microsoft Edge. So I'll close it, reopen it, and this time the button is gone. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.